Today's scripture reading begins in verse 18 of Matthew chapter 4. Now as Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus was going about in all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. And the news about him spread throughout Syria, and they brought to him all who were ill, those suffering with various diseases and severe pain, demon-possessed, people with epilepsy, and people who were paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis and Jerusalem and Judea and from beyond the Jordan. We might think it was easier for the disciples to follow Jesus than it is for us today. After all, they were able to experience his physical presence and learn from his example, whereas we can't touch, see, or hear him the way they could. But Christ made provision for his work to continue after he left this earth. He promised the disciples a helper who would never leave them, a helper who would actually live within them. Those of us who are believers today also follow Jesus by hearing and heeding his indwelling Holy Spirit. In fact, that's how we get personal guidance. As Jesus did for his disciples, the Spirit guides us each step of the way as he helps us learn the truths of God. But His work goes beyond that. As we cooperate with Him, the Holy Spirit transforms us from the inside out and enables us to serve and obey the Lord. He helps us discover God's will for our life and shows us how to walk in His path. All we have to do is follow. An essential requirement for following Jesus is sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. And the more yielded we are to His guidance, the sharper our spiritual hearing will become.